Good morning, everybody on YouTube. Happy Thanksgiving. This is November 24th, 2022 at 8 a.m. in the morning. Getting ready to record the Macy's Parade. Uh, I just wanted to drop a little fast e uh, video about this because I have been getting quite a few questions about it. A lot of younger people who may not know, and there's a lot of things when it comes to electronic technology that you can actually do. But I'm getting people by request who are asking me, how do you record to your computer? Because a lot of people, you know, uh, a lot of people are getting into the, to the point where even younger people, you know, getting back into vinyl records and cassettes and everything. They want to be able to record and save uh, recordings of, you know, certain things, especially like the fans I have of Macy's. I have a fan. I'm doing this for them today. He likes the Macy's Parade. He's a big collector. So let me explain to this. If you want to record to your computer, like I said, here at Opsley Video Services, we have an extremely advanced broadcast television studio set up. We are broadcast television studio in every sense of the word. I mean, I have some of the most expensive equipment you can buy for production work. But you can easily record to your computer, and I'm going to show you how. I use two capture devices. One is by StarTech, which is the one you're seeing right now. And I have another one that I use by Hapog, which I, I also use, which I jump from different capture cards depending on what I'm doing. Okay, recording from TV to a computer. How do you do it? If you have Cox cable, which is a cable box like that, it's called a mini, mini box, you'll see in the back of it, uh, there's an uh, HDMI output cable, okay? You have to take the output of that to a special uh, stripper box. I don't know if you'll be able to see this or not, but you see that little box with the red light on it? That's a stripper box. What that does is it takes out the copy guard signal from this box and lets it pass through to a capture device, okay? That's what that does. So, as you can see, I have my StarTech cap capture device down there. So, when I come out of that stripper box for the copy card, it, it takes the signal out, and then I'm able to record directly to that capture card box, which is for StarTech, to this software, to my computer, and I'm able to record it to a computer file. That's how you actually can record television. You have to have a copy guard remove stripper removal box. It removes the, the copy guard from the cable boxes you're using mini boxes or whatever. All the digital ones are advanced. They got copy guard on them. You won't be able to go directly out of them to capture to a capture card. It won't allow you to do it. You do have to have a stripper copy guard box remover. And once you put the, re you, you go out of your cable box to a stripper box, which takes the signal and takes the copy guard off of it to a capture guard card, which you see, which is on the bottom. And then you could capture it to like a Hapog capture card, a StarTech. There's various different models out there. Uh, personally, I think the StarTech is really high performance, high quality. You could record in 60 frames, full, uh, full uh, uh, 1920 by 1080, uh, full, uh, you know, full resolution, whatever your, your cable system's putting out. Mine happens to be a 1920 by 1080p. At 59.94 hertz, which I set it exactly for the same ratio on the capture. So I'm getting it directly the way it's being broadcast. But anyways, that's how you record ca uh, cable TV to a computer system. You can't do it without a copy guard stripper box from one of these digital boxes like Cox Communication or whatever your cable system is. So... Hope that answers your question out there. People ask me, can, how can I record directly to my computer? You do have to invest some money in this stuff, guys. I have an awful lot of money invested in broadcast television equipment in this living room. A ton. It does everything that I need it to do. But I do get special requests like today or this past week for the Macy's Parade, which I am going to record for a Blu-ray for a for a good friend of mine who's a big collector, he, you know, he has no option or way to record television. And even when you record television with some of the other setups with the TVs of today, you don't really get great quality. If you do it this way, you're getting the broadcast quality the way it was broadcast off the air, and it's insane quality. Even DVRs don't record it in this kind of quality because it compresses the video. So I prefer to do it directly to the computer uh, from the cable box itself for the highest quality possible. Hope you enjoyed this video.